stubborn bastard. How in the heck is he keeping up with such a huge sword? It's moving too fast for me. Damn, we can't shake him. We have no choice. Time to counterattack. I guess you're finally taking me seriously. Good. I was getting sick of playing tag with you fools. He's not going to give up until he's dead. What a stubborn idiot. Does he really think he could be beat two, two to one odds? Excuse me. I think I already have. What? Every fight takes spirit. You lose that, you've lost everything. And I figured out exactly what kind of spirit you losers had when you took off with your tails between your legs. Silence, Gilder dog. We can handle you. You're in for a painful death. What is okay? Obviously, they are. Ugh. Damn it. We can't get caught now. Okay, how about you just surrender and give me your full confessions? Also, by the way, if the voices or anything sound a little off, I've got some nasty allergies, so. Sorry. Starting with who you are and who and what you're after. What? Well, when did you get here? Commander, you came for us. You two are pitiful. You failed to report in as appointed, and this is why. But we have no excuses. We've had a lot of interference. I get it. So you're the man in charge? Only in this particular scene. Allow me to apologize on behalf of my men. Could I persuade you to overlook this incident? Huh? Okay, repeat that. I said I'd like for you to overlook this incident. We never had any intention of running afoul of the Bracer Guild. Don't make me laugh. You think I'm just going to look the other way and let you get away with what you did? Ah, well. I had thought it a generous offer, personally. Certainly a fairer price than death. Both of you, stand down. Return to the rendezvous point at once. Yes, sir. Thank you, Commander. Where do you think you're going? Son of a... Fine. The target may have changed, but as long as I have one, and you being the leader, I assume you've got better information to offer than your underlings anyway. You think it'll be that easy to make me talk? I'm sure as hell... I sure as hell intend to find out. Not bad. Not bad at all. You have an irrepressible passion, but a great weight bears it down upon you. You're not quite so different from me. What did you just say? It's a painful thing to be powerless in a time of crisis, but you know the feeling all too well, no? I can see it in your eyes. Fine, then. I don't know who you are, but I think I like you. There's no shame in powerlessness. There's no shame in being outmatched. You and I both know that. Perhaps we could come to a mutually beneficial agreement? Screw you! Don't act like you know anything about me! You're in for one hell of a beatdown! All talk, no shock. But the guild's going to love interrogating you. What the? Is that the body split craft? A gate sent something faint. Faint. What? From the dark forest beyond. The presence in the trees seems to have vanished. For go? 
How the hell am I supposed to do that? Oh, no. What the hell is that? The Black Orbment. guess she's not here yet. Did we get here that early? Could be. Want to kill some time at the tavern? No, that's nice, Aunt. I think I'd rather just wait here. I doubt I could ever get tired of this view of the river. Yeah, no kidding. I even get the feeling that Ruan's finally back to normal. Pretty amazing considering the uproar after Mayor Dalmore's arrest. Well, a seated mayor has never been arrested before. Try to imagine if Mayor Klaus was arrested in Rome. Yeah, that would be a real shock. But when I think of it that way, the people of Ruan almost seem... Cool. Oh, cold. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they were clearly surprised by what happened, but not a single person was truly shocked, as far as I can tell. Well, you have to remember, the mayor of Ruan has always been selected by the bloodline alone. He wasn't elected to a position by the Ru Ruanians and it probably makes all the difference in the world. Yeah, that's true. The people of Roland appointed Mayor Klaus Mayor because they liked him and trusted him. Dalmor's getting what he deserves, but I still feel kind of bad for him. Hey, look who's here. My boy. My boy. Hey, I'm sorry that I'm late. No problem. We were j we just got here ourselves. Don't tell us you ran all the way here. You really didn't need to rush. I couldn't let you two go without seeing you off. Thank you very much for contacting me. Chloe, I keep telling you, you don't have to thank us. You two see. Thanks for coming. Oh, look at him! He's so goddamn cute! Well then, shall we be off? Okay. We need to use the south exit to reach Zeiss, right? Yes, on the southern road is a checkpoint called Air Letton. You can set out for Zeiss from there. Roger that. Okay, let's go. My boy. Oh, she's still with us. So the south... That one, right? Towards the Orion Causeway? Are you kidding me? By the warehouse, so it's... We have to be good people. We have to make sure we return the warehouse thing. Where are the warehouses again? Over here, right? the shopkeeper. Make sure, I don't know if I've had that. There we go. Forget where Chloe said she was gonna follow us to? She mentioned it in the last episode, I think.
Oh. I don't know who Joshua is. Oh, he's going to target that thing. That was a strange slowdown. to some levels again, which is nice. What is that thing? What are these things? Roadrunner? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. This is the place she said we have to go, right? Air Lenten. Right? Who knows at this point? We were already here once. I've been here before, but this is a nice little spot. The view here is breathtaking. Certainly doesn't feel like a checkpoint, that's for sure. Actually, I hear that a lot of visitors who come here... I hear that a lot of visitors come here to see the waterfall. Really? Ruan sure has a lot of nice places, huh? I can understand why the Duke would want to live here. Agreed. But I think Roland is also a nice, relaxing place to live. Oh, you've been to Roland? Yes, I've been to all five of the great cities. Oh, that's right. Zeiss is up ahead. You'll be surprised how charming it is. Really? Sounds like we're in for some fun. Alright, why don't we get started on the paperwork, then? Okay. Chloe, how have you, uh... How have you been around? Paperwork. This guy? Yeah. I probably gave this guy a name, but I can't remember it for the life of me. How can I be of assistance? We were wondering what we had to do to obtain permission to enter Zeiss. Ah, okay then, step right up. I'll take care of you. Be aware, though, that once these procedures begin, you will not be allowed to leave the checkpoint. Are you okay with that? Yeah, go ahead, please. Then please start by signing these documents. Alright, everything looks to be in order. Is the lady there not joining you? Oh, I only came to see them off. Ah, very well then. You'll be able to accompany them as far as the mouth of the Kaladi Chaldea Tunnel. Thank you so much. What's the Chaldea Tunnel? It's the main road that joins this checkpoint to Zeiss, okay. The path is a long tunnel that passes directly through Chal Chaldea Hill. Okay. So why would she even be allowed to go through this checkpoint? I don't know. Wow, an underground road. That'll definitely be a first for me, too. Whee! Oh, yeah, this isn't the, uh... Yes, we get it. There's waterfalls here. Wow, this is amazing! Huh, so the waterfall comes from a man-made river. I think it's called the Lost Lot Lot Lotse Highway? Waterway? It was made a very long time ago. Yes, it's linked directly to the Valeria Lakeshore. Pretty impressive given that they didn't have did it without any ornaments to help. So what's that over there? 
Let's see. That's the entrance to the tunnel, I think. Yeah. Oh no. So I guess this is goodbye. Yes. So you're going to be traveling around the kingdom, right? We might be able to meet again in Gransel. Really? I'll be going back there when it's the when the Queen's birthday celebration starts. Some of my relatives will be there, so I'll have to join them. That's just a month away, isn't it? I think we may actually be in Gransel around that time. So then, once you're done with your family stuff, contact the Gransel Bracer Guild Branch. If you do, we can try to meet up. I certainly will. Estelle and Joshua, I can't thank you enough. I won't ever forget everything you've done for me. Don't be so formal. We're in tear dead as well, for many reasons. I'd say we're pretty even. What a thing to say. When, when we confronted the mayor, I said some terrible things. You care for no one but yourself. But I was no different. Huh? I've been running away from the reality of my own situation for a while now. To the orphanage and to the academy. But the two of you taught me something. You helped me find the courage to hold my head high and find the strength to protect what matters. Because of you, I know how to be brave. I, I don't really get it, but if we were able to help you, I'm happy. Oh, Oh. Cheer up, okay? We'll see each other again in Gransel. Yes, absolutely. My boy! Maybe we'll get to see Sig there too, right? My boy! That's a joke. I mean, Gransel's pretty far away. I don't think those wings would hold... Besides, your home is here. Boy. Sieg isn't just any bird, you know. I think he'll be there. I'm sure. Sieg's just full of surprises, isn't he? Well then, shall we be off? Yeah. Hey, good luck to both of you on your journey. And I'll be praying for you to find your father. My boy. Thank you. You two take care. Yes, I think so too. We'll see them again. Oh. Miss Julia. You're done with your duties at Layston Fortress? Yes, it took longer than I had anticipated. Pardon my rudeness, but I've come to report... to get your report on the incident. Thank you for your service. My boy. <laughs> hey now, settle down, Sieg. Have you been your f fulfilling your duty as escort? He's always been very helpful. Isn't that right, Sieg? He's certainly chipper. The RSL is stopped at the end of the highway. You're to report in there. Understood. I'll be leaving for school. I'll be leaving school for a while. I need to say goodbye to my teachers before returning to Gransel. Stell, Joshua, I'll take what you taught me and show you that I can be stronger. Stronger than even you two. I'll do everything in my power to see that. You're hiding something. What's wrong? Nothing. I just got a feeling that someone was coming. Huh? There's someone in here other than us? Hmm. Guess not. Yeah. Sorry. Must have imagined it. Oh, I get it. I think you've still got a little crush on Chloe. Huh? What makes you say that? Oh, don't be shy. You know I can read you like a book. It's not unreasonable, after all. You did, um kiss her during the play. What if she asked you to come back? You'd say yes, right? I guess you didn't notice, then. Notice what? The last scene? It was just for show, you know. It was staged, just so it would look like a real kiss for the audience. <laughs> you really can be completely clueless sometimes. It was written right there in the script notes. <laughs> I see. Oh. Uh, Estelle, you okay? I'm fine. Come on, come on, Zeiss awaits. Oh, you're not fine. That's where we're going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.